Hello, good morning. I hope that you're doing well. Today I'm doing a secondhand slash vintage finds. I have been shopping on eBay for the last year and a half. I have been going to a few secondhand shops, but I mainly find things on eBay to be honest. I have bought one thing of Vestier. I have not ironed anything because I'm extremely lazy and I'll only iron it as of when I need it. So yes, please forgive that. I'm just going to change into a t-shirt and then I will try everything on for you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm wearing a plain t-shirt. It's easier to show you everything. So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually the last thing that I've bought and it's this Yves Saint Laurent men's work shirt. It's got these cuffling sleeves so I have to roll them up a lot. It's a lovely shirt, just all the things. You can also do it up, which I do. Tuck it into jeans or I put blazers over the top of it. Like, it's just really versatile. So everything that I buy, um, I always have it dry cleaned. For the blazers, I will continue to dry clean them. The next item is actually one of my favorite. Well, I mean, I love everything, but this I love. It's a bit creased, I apologize. I wore it yesterday and it was raining so hard and I had to walk to the car from, we went out to eat to, um, for dinner and this blazer was so wet. It's dry now, but it's just dried a little bit creased, so I apologize for that. This is a Christian Dior men's blazer. It's a work blazer, but oh, it's just so pretty. It's 100% wool. I say that really confidently. I'm not actually 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it's 100% wool. Anyways, this was on eBay. I paid, I think, £40 or £50 for it. And then I paid a tenner to have it dry cleaned and shipping. But I think I bought this June of last year. So she's a little bit old. I mean, obviously she is a little bit old. But I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it. And I couldn't find it on my eBay account. It fits really nicely. So this is a men's 38. Uh, and I just, I love that this is like boxy, but it's still, it's got these lines going down here, which sort of like cinch your blazer slightly, not a lot, but it just gives like a real boyfriend blazer vibes, which I mean, it is somebody's boyfriend or, I mean, I don't know. It's somebody's blazer. <laughs> she was a little bit worn on the underarm, but I mean, I had it dry cleaned and... I mean, it's fine, you know, it's, it's, it's been dry cleaned. It's fine, right? The next thing is something that is recent again, and it's this beige, brownie, brownie beige bla um, shirt. This is a Tommy Hilfiger, and this is more of a weekend shirt. It's more relaxed. It's very worn, but it was very cheap. I think it was a tenner and they did free shipping. It's a size large, so it's super, super oversized. Like, I love this blazer. Um, sorry, shirt. I think I've called it a blazer twice now. It's super big on the sleeves, so I just roll these up as I do with most shirts, really. And I wore this in the summer with mini dresses fitted just with this over the top to give it a more chilled vibe and trainers or shorts and a plain vest and then open. I haven't worn it closed yet. It was warm. I think it might look nice with like a turtleneck closed in the winter a coat over the top i think that would look quite cool but because it's been quite warm i've not needed to close it yet i love the color of it that's what sold me on this shirt because i don't have anything this nudie creamy color and i just think it's so pretty the next thing is again one of my favorite items and it's this um navy blazer this is much more of a relaxed blazer it's men's again and this one's a size 40 so you'll be able to see that it's slightly bigger on the arms slightly bigger on the arms on me on the shoulder sorry so it's just slightly more boxy wider but i really do like this about it i wear this with super girly dresses and i feel like 
this really boxy blazer just gives them a little bit, a bit of an edge. This blazer was, um, I think it was £50, I want to say, with £5 shipping and then £10 for dry cleaning. And it was cheap because of this. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. So it had this hole on the shoulder and I actually wasn't going to buy it. I couldn't resist. I think somebody bidded on it and I was like, no, it's mine. And then I won and I was so excited. I think this is the blazer I wear the most because it's not too thick. I have worn in the summer if it's the evenings or if I'm going out for dinner with dresses underneath. But then in the winter, because it's quite boxy, I can wear it with hoodies or with jumpers or layered over the top. But yeah, definitely one of my favorites. The next product is a Marks and Spencer's cashmere jumper and it's this grey one. I've actually bought two but because I've not yet turned over my wardrobe, I, I mean the other one's in storage and I couldn't just get out for this video but I am going to do another secondhand find because I've just purchased two coats, well four coats, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I've just purchased four coats and two of them are the dry cleaners and two of them I'm waiting for them to come and then I can take them to the dry cleaners and then after that I'm going to film a video and I'll probably add the cream colored jumper in that video. Anyways, this is a gray one and I love this. I'll probably style this in the winter with, I just think that it's like such a classic look and like statement necklaces and some jeans. It's just such an easy outfit. So I bought this, it was brand new. Both of the jumpers were brand new. Uh, there were different sellers though. And I paid 50 pounds for it. It's 100% cashmere and they go like normally, they are 100 pounds, 99 pounds I think from Marks and Spencers. And the seller actually um, took off the tag so that I couldn't take it back. I don't know, I thought it was really weird, but anyways. I've actually not washed it yet. I've only worn it once because I had a Zadig and Voltaire cream cashmere jumper and I put it in the wash and it's about this small. Actually, I'll show you. So this is the jumper. This was it before and then this is it now. Cashmere, when you put it in the wash, in like a hot wash, it turns this hard material that almost, I don't know, it makes my teeth feel funny. And now I'm really scared of doing the same to that one. So I'll have to take it to the dry cleaners again. I, I don't know what to do about this. This is gone, but I can't get rid of it. I just look at it and feel sad. It's a reminder of what not to do. So lastly on the shirt, I've got this men's Yves Saint Laurent 100% cotton shirt. So this one doesn't have the, what is it called? The cuff links sleeve and it's not as long on the arm either. So it's nice. It is oversized, but I can get away with doing it up and tucking it in and uh, rolling up the sleeves or even leaving it like this, which I mean, I haven't done yet, but I'm sure I will. It's just, it's a really cute shirt. I really love it. I love the print on it. It's a proper dad shirt, I think proper 90s and I, I really like it. I saw one on Pretty Little Thing just after I bought it and I was like, that's cute. That and this one on the buttons, it says, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Oh, maybe. It says Yves Saint Laurent. I actually don't know if the lighting's going to allow that. Or if it does, then you've seen it. If you haven't, then it says it. You can take my word for it. Okay, so the item that I bought on Vestiaire was this bag. This was kind of an impulse buy, to be honest. But, I mean, I love it. It's this brown tote, and it's very worn. 
this i need to buy a new um like handles but it's they're very hard to find like when i bought it i bought it with that in mind because they were broken on the inside look at that like they are pretty pretty worn but i thought like the toe itself was fine so i was just going to buy some handles to put on this but everything that i found looks quite cheap and i just don't think it really suits this bag like i love these i want these exact ones but um yeah it was quite an impulsive buy i saw it and i was like i'll buy it uh but i love it it's an old haven't said yet it's an old prada bag and um it's suede and she's very cute so i found this skirt recently i wasn't too sure about it it's this like plaid tartan skirt it's all different tartans it's from zara and i saw it and i was like nah and then i was like maybe and then i was like i'll buy it so i bought it um let me try it on so this is the skirt oh i can't move further enough back i bought it thinking it would look nice with like a black jumper and some black tights and some boots and like a big coat like i think that's my vision for this skirt i'm not sure yet all of these items you'll find styled on my Instagram, which is Ines LaPikes, which is the same as my YouTube. But let's try on my favourite thing ever. Okay, so the last item in this haul is my favourite thing I think I've ever bought. Yeah, quite possibly. Uh, it's a vintage Max Mara coat. It's can you say it's vintage it's from the 80s it's this very over oh my god i love it i haven't seen it since like january and now it's out <gasps> hey i couldn't even put it into the storage oh, oh i just love this coat so it's this kid snacks and receipts it's a size 12 so it's i mean it's quite oversized for a size 12 i thought it would fit a little bit more fitted because i am a 12 but it's roomy in here which is nice for the winter because you can wear lots of layers underneath i bought it october of last year so just less than a year ago and like I just love it. I, it it goes with absolutely everything i love the color of it it's a dark brown it's alpaca and cashmere and wool it literally just goes with absolutely everything uh which is why i love this coat this was such a good purchase and i'll probably pass it on to my daughter if she likes clothes and I've actually purchased two more Max Mara coats. So if you do want to see another vintage find, please subscribe, please like this video so that I know that it's been received well and that I should do another one. Just finding secondhand things, not only is it fun, it's good for recycling clothes and just being a little bit more conscious of what i'm buying so i love that so thank you so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it please subscribe again it would mean the world to me and until my next one i'll see you soon bye